In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Manic Panic in the color green Envy. While this is not a sponsored video, Manic Panic was nice enough to send this to me, so thank you very much, Manic Panic. So I have my swatches labeled one through 12, but that's not synonymous with hair levels. I do pictures and clips near the end of the video, so the numbers just help us keep track of each swatch. These are human hair swatches, but the only one that is virgin hair, which is hair that's never been chemically dyed or bleached before, is the number four black swatch. One is pink, red and green are across from each other on the color wheel, so I wanted to see how well the green would cover the pink. Two is gray, three is a natural red, four is obviously black, and then from four to 11 is a range that goes to a platinum blonde, and then 12 is like a toned version of number 11. So to start, I'm gonna take the dye directly from the container and I'll be putting it at the top of each swatch. And then some people like to dilute their dyes, so I'm gonna do a diluted version at the bottom of each swatch. Please keep in mind, everyone's hair is different, so everyone's hair will take dye differently. Also, I've noticed that different screens and monitors can make colors look different, especially undertones. So just use my video as a reference for how this could possibly turn out for you. For the diluted section, we're going to do a 4 to 1 ratio. So that is going to be 4 parts of diluter to 1 part dye. And if you are not sure what diluter is, my easy simple answer that I like to give during my videos is that it's just something that lightens the color of your dye. Usually each brand will make something you can use to dilute with, um, but I just use a plain white conditioner. All right, I'm gonna let these sit for about three hours. I will then rinse them out and when they're dry, I will meet you back here and we'll do some comparisons. Okay, so if you couldn't tell, this is pretty pigmented. Even just looking at the diluted sections, they covered so well. You definitely could dilute it even more than that and get pretty good coverage. So number one was the pink. It does look a little bit darker than what it looked like originally, I think because of the opposite tones neutralizing each other just a little bit, but the green is so pigmented that it dyed very well. So if you have pink hair, this would definitely cover it. The number two was gray. As usual, this one looks slightly more cool toned. As you can kind of tell, this green has a slight bit of blue in it. It's a little bit more cool toned for a green, but I wouldn't say that the number two looks blue at all. The number three, especially in the direct dye portion, I think that shade of red is a little bit closer to being the opposite of this green because it almost looks black on the top. I mean, I can kind of see a little tinge of green, so the green did cover the red, but on the diluted section, it almost looks neutralized. I mean, some bits look a little bit green, but it almost looks like a dark silvery color. Um, black, nothing happened on that one. Number five, I can see a very small difference, but the green over darker hair just seems to make it look darker. 
I explained in my other video how cool tones don't reflect light the same way that warm tones do. And this is a cool toned green, so over a already dark swatch, it just makes it look darker. Kind of the same for number six. You can definitely see more green than on number five, but I feel like you don't really get that true green until like seven and upwards. And in my opinion, I think it looks the best on nine through 11. So I wanted to jump right into doing comparisons and I haven't done a ton of greens for Manic Panic yet, but I did do Enchanted Forest and I thought that might be a good comparison because I think people assume that Enchanted Forest would lean more green, but it's actually a very bluey green. So I thought I'd show that. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, and number 10. Just in case anyone was thinking that Enchanted Forest would be a lot more green, um, it's pretty much more blue than it is green. It's like a blue with like a tinge of green, <laughs> whereas the Green Envy is a green with maybe a tinge of blue. And hopefully that helps anyone who was confused by the name because it has forest in it. They are not similar at all. Now I have done a handful of these kind of emeraldy greens, but none of them match. For example, I did a Taurus mix and that turned out like an emeraldy green. Uh, mine leans just a hair more blue than this. We also have one and only emerald green. Now I was really between that and punky color Alpine. The undertones in the one and only emerald green are a little bit closer but it's actually very muted for an emerald green. It's not quite as bright and vibrant as the green Envy. So I ended up going with Punky Color Alpine as my second comparison for this video. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, and number 10. Sorry, they're a little bit curvy. <laughs> I keep them in a box that's a little bit too small for them so they get kind of wonky. So it might be hard to tell the difference on camera. I know sometimes my camera has a hard time picking up minute differences. Now when it comes to the direct dye portion, they actually do look very similar. Now Alpine Green leans just a very, very tiny bit more cool toned than the Green Envy. But like I said, on the direct dye portion, it might be really hard to tell. You can't really see that until you dilute it, I would say, especially on this one. The one and only emerald green leans just a hair more warm toned. And like I said, in terms of undertone, it's a little bit closer to the Green Envy, but it's much more like, I know I already said, it's kind of muted and not as bright. So in the end, I think the punky color Alpine is actually a little bit closer. And I think the Green Envy, it's a little hard to tell. I think the Green Envy might be a hair lighter, but I could be wrong. Could just be the angle that I'm sitting at. <laughs> but hopefully you can see just how cool toned the Alpine is, especially compared to Green Envy. So essentially I don't currently have any exact matches for Green Envy, and I've learned that all emerald greens are not made the same. <laughs> all right, so from here, I'd like to get into the before and after clips. Those, as well as anything filmed near the end of this video, will all be done in natural lighting.
I hope this video helped. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. Just remember, I only do dyes that do not test on animals. Thank you so, so much to my patrons and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.